Hello everyone. Um, in this part we are going to talk about something called data template selector. So in a scenario where you have uh, multiple data templates and you want to be able to use one or more and apply data templates to your items, that's where item uh, data template selector comes in. And along the same lines in the XAML part we need to use item template selector versus instead of item template. Okay, so we're going to start with, I will be building on this same tutorial which we used uh, last time for data templates. And uh, it's here we had, if you remember, we, we created these two data templates Actually, we had more than two, but I'm going to specifically focus on these two. So we have two data templates here, one uh, with enum, one without enum. Okay, so um, let's see if we can select one or more at the same time. Um, so the difference between two actually I think I don't remember if I change this color back and forth. Actually, let me go to the item template and change the switching back and forth so you can tell the difference. So my product DT is black sale, whereas my product DT with enum has red color. Okay, so two different templates. Okay. Um, so to start off, we're going to create, uh, add a new class to our project. So I'm going to Solution Explorer, add new class, and let's call this my D data template selector. Okay, and we are going to inherit from data template selector class okay let's uh, resolve the error so we need to bring in system windows controls uh, next we are going to override a method and that is public override it's going to return a data template and it's called select template. Takes two parameters. And as soon as, soon as actually we hit enter, it create tabbed it out, stopped it out for us. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Actually, just return null for now. Just to get rid of the, so we don't get the error. Um, so first we're going to grab the container, um, so framework element, let's call this a typo, so framework element element, let's call, say this equals to container as framework element okay uh, next we need an if statement if element is not null and if item is product p in that case we want to return um, return um, let me see element that find resource and here we're going to pass in the data template let's say my product 
this the part this is text we gotta be uh, careful to not to misspell otherwise we, we it's not gonna work so uh, actually um, I can actually copy and paste it from here let's say um, this guy here we call this my product we enum let's copy and paste that okay as data template okay um, else well you know what let's actually let's hold it here and uh, let's first make sure this works I'm going to go to our resources section up here and bring that class so local uh, my data template selector let's get a key let's say my dt selector okay All right now we got an error let's build this I think that should take care of it okay that cleared our squiggly lines so down below here where we used item template we are going to change this to item whoopsie so instead of item template now we need to use item template selector and tie this into our new selector we created up there so instead of product with enum we need to say my dt selector okay we got the same result because eventually this is returning the same data template okay if i change the data template to this guy here uh, where is this uh, right here my product dt copy and paste that if I pass that in here and go back and build this again now it selected this data template instead of the one with the enum so right now this one is being used Okay, so we can select different data templates based on certain condition, or we can have more than one. Okay, let's uh, see how we can apply multiple data templates to the same item list. All right, so I'm gonna go back to our my data template selector class. So here we are going to add a condition or multiple conditions. So instead of just return we're going to say if um, p dot department let's say equals um, department dot um, dairy then I want to return this one um, let's say we can have multiple actually if statements I mean uh, conditions else if um, if I uh, mean uh, p dot department equals department dot candy let's return the other one uh, which is let's copy and paste this and change this to my product dt with enum okay, let's try this out see if it works 
So now if we did it right, we should have two data templates applied to the same item list. And sure enough. Okay, and now we got this. Um, we remove the template from here. So that's because it's looking at the condition. If it's not, it's not applying any data template. Um, to get to correct that, we can just apply as last resort. We can just say re return this one by default. Mm, that's not going to work. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. Let's try this out. All right, perfect. So we got two data templates applied at the same time. Um, I mean, if you want, you can add more. Um, let's see. Let's um, copy and paste another one, maybe. Let me copy and paste this first one. Right below it. And change a couple of things here. Let's change this from black to um, maybe something like blue and then change the condition down below here instead of dairy let's say um, soda and let's go back to our class actually let's build this first I don't think it's gonna do anything but uh, the key is already in use. Oh, the key, of course. So let's say my product DT2 and uh, build this. Again, I don't think it's going to work, but I mean, I didn't do anything. But let's build this anyway. So let's go back here. And then we can say else. if p dot department equals equals department dot soda in case return element dot find resource and we'll pass in my prod dt2 as data template Okay, let's try this out. Build. And there it is. So we applied three different data templates to the same item list. Okay. Um, I mean, you can think of probably lots of use cases for this. Let's say you have uh, different sales for different items. Say 10% off for this, 15% off for that, so on and so forth. But anyway, that's data template selector and item template selector. Okay, uh, thanks for tuning in. Until the next one, take it easy.